All right, so next I'm going to show you Salvor. This is an NFT marketplace, but you can also lend and borrow on this. You can do it against tokens. You can also do it against NFTs. So it's salvor.io. In order to be a lender, which is you give out your AVAX or other tokens, you do have to add it to your pool. So there's two ways to do it. One, you can just go by your profile, uh, click on this, and then you'll just put in how much you want, and then it'll show up in your pool balance here. Uh, and then two, whenever you go to actually make your offer, which I'll show you very soon, that'll give you an option. You need to add into your pool here. So as a lender, that means that I'm willing to give you AVAX in return for you putting up Hefe as collateral. If you were to default on the loan, which means you don't pay it back uh, in the time that it's due, then your Hefe that you gave as collateral will be unlocked and I get your Hefe. So it's good for the lender because it can earn interest on the AVAX. It's also possible that, let's say, if the value of the Hefe was less than it's possible that if they were to default, then as a lender, I actually got a better deal because I got more Hefe than I would originally have gotten. So that means that like on market. So if one Apes equaled 20,000 Hefe tokens, but for on this loan here, I gave you one AVAX and you offered 40,000 Hefe as collateral. That does, that's good for me. If you default, I just, I got 40,000 Hefe for the price of one AVAX, or I could have went to the market and bought 20,000 Hefe for one AVAX. Um, so it could be good. And also it's possible that the price goes up so high that, okay, yeah, original, if I would have bought a market, one AVAX is 20,000 Hefe. Now one AVAX is 10,000 Hefe. So it's possible that I actually, as the lender, couldn't lose out, but typically it's kind of in the lender's benefit to do this. So to set a loan up you just go over here here's hefe so the loan amount this is the max you're willing to give somebody in a loan so we can just do two uh, so this is your loan to value ratio so this is the amount of hefe so like right now the price of hefe is this and then this is saying that hey you are willing to go basically pay this amount per hefe so that means you're basically gonna give me more hefe than the market value is worth to help incentivize me to actually giving you avax the interest rate this is per year this is not per day this is per year so this you'd have to divide this over a year so 90 percent divided over 365 it's like a quarter of a percent and if you run this for five days it's like 1.25 percent you would earn so you could definitely do it longer for example and then we could do a year i'm sorry we could do 365 percent divide that by a year so you're basically making one percent a day for seven days so if somebody were to borrow against that they'd have to pay back the loan plus the however long they interest is so to preview that so a total loan offers two price per AVAX that I'm willing to basically say like hey you got to give me this this is the price I'm willing to pay for all your AVAX so that means like you would give me 130,000 as collateral and if you don't pay that back I get to keep it if you do pay it back plus this interest right here this 0.0598 interest then you get to keep your AVAX and I and I just made the interest so I can confirm that all right so you can come in here to check out your loan offers and this is just under your profile under lending and then you go under your loan offers and you're seeing like hey i've got hefe it's active this is the apy and then how much i'm willing to give so again somebody if they needed to they borrowed it they could go there select that one and then i could earn interest off of them borrowing it or if they default then i get their hefe now let's say you have hefe and you need some avax for whatever reason so you can come down here to borrow you're going to find hefe and you're going to say like hey i need to borrow two avax this is going to show you all these different offers and then you could look at these you could filter there's a couple things to keep in mind whenever you're looking at this first off is your apy as a borrower the smaller the api is the better because that means that's less you have to pay back so that's 90 percent that's that's the lowest it looks like there's one for 500 percent that means you're going to owe more avax um so obviously yeah you're going to pick the uh, 90 percent your loan to value ratio for a borrower the higher it is the better if you were to default on the loan with the higher ap the higher apy on the ltv it's not like you're putting out more hefe than a like than the market value would be so as a borrower the closer it is to ltv that's a good thing as a lender the closer it is to ltv that's a bad thing keep that in mind so for me if i needed to borrow this too i would look at right here so these two right here 90 percent less have to pay back and these are close to ltv or it's like 50 it's the closest ones to ltv this means that i'm going to accrue this much and in daily interest and they have this much they can borrow i can borrow from so then i can come here and that means that right now i would need 
to put up 101,445 Hefe tokens as collateral. And then in return, I'd get two AVAX, or I'm sorry, right here. I would get 1.983 AVAX uh, into my wallet. And then I'm free to do that, uh, but I have five days. I would get this 1.98 AVAX in my wallet. And once I have that, I'm free to do whatever I want with it. But I have five days to pay the loan back plus interest, or I lose my collateral. If I do pay it back though, then I get my collateral back unlocked to me. So keep in mind, when it comes to borrowing against tokens, it's very risky because tokens are very volatile. So it could very easily hit like this LTV here. Like this one's 87%. So it's very easy that like if you're gonna lend out your AVAX against that, it may start out at 47%. And then three days later, the price shoots up or drops, for example. Um, I think it's drops on this one. Then it gets closer to LTV. And then it's like, oh, okay. You know, they're less likely to pay it back is what I should say. So if this were to be like somebody, honestly, 89%, they may not even get that back. If it was 100% LTV or 110% LTV, like they're not gonna pay that back and you're gonna lose your collateral. You're gonna lose, they're gonna default on the loan and then you as the lender will lose your AVAX and they'll get to keep your AVAX. So you have to be careful with tokens because again, it's super volatile. Like right here, that's a 97%. Like I don't think anybody's gonna loan against that. 90, 90, 79, people aren't probably gonna loan against that. 47, 51, 55, I would be more likely to risk like, hey, here's some AVAX in return for these token collaterals. You just, again, have to be very careful. Yeah, so that's lending and borrowing on Salver. Pretty cool, simple concept. It can be kind of confusing because there's a lot of numbers and there's a lot of things to keep in mind. But if you have extra AVAX around and you're just sort of looking for a different way to like potentially make some money, like I do with Bitcoin on Ordinals all the time uh, and I love it. I've made quite a bit of money from that. So here's a way to do it now with tokens on AVAX. Have a good one, guys.